And once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rochester Community High School for tonight's Three Rivers Conference varsity matchup between the Northfield Norse and your Rochester Zebras. <laughs> Northfield comes in tonight with a record of 4-11, 1-4 in conference play, while the Zebras are 5-6, 2-1 in conference play. At this time, we'd like to meet the starting lineups. First, for Northfield. Up five foot, nine inch junior, number one, Carter Rogers. District, don't try our future, please recycle. For the guest on the scoreboard, the Northfield Norse coming in with a record of four and 11. They're going to start a 5'9 junior, number one, Carter Rogers, a 5'9 junior, number two, Jaden Bear, a 5'11 junior, number 11, Tyson Bear, a 6'1 sophomore, number 15, Ty Lemming, and a 6'2 junior, number 54, Isaac Burkhart uh, for the uh, Northfield Norris. Time now for the starting lineups brought to you by Solid Waste District for your own Rochester Zebras. We're going to start a 5'8 junior, number two, Drew Bowers, a 6'2 junior, number 11, Tanner Reinertz, a 6'0 junior, number 20, Owen Prater, 6'1 junior, number 23, Bryce Bogger, and a 6'0 sophomore, number 24, Carson Pollock, for Coach Malko's Rochester Zebras. Val, final thoughts here before we get started. Big game in the TRC tonight with Peru at Whitco. Peru's got to have that. If they lose, they're probably out. And I, Whitco's hanging by a thread as yeah. it is. That's probably the big game in the TRC tonight. Uh, but again, for Rochester, I mean, they're not out of it. But this yeah. this game is a must win. They got to get this game because uh, they get a tough week next week. Obviously, a non-conference game tomorrow night, and then two big conference road games next week at Southwood Thursday at Lewis Cass Saturday afternoon. You gotta, probably got to get both of those too, to be honest yeah. with you. Yep, it's going to be a tough one. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it'll be a good start to get this one going tonight. Uh, a change program, changing note. Uh, the Zebras play on the road tomorrow night at North White. We will not be at that ball game. Some technical issues uh, on the road with our road equipment. So uh, we will not be there tomorrow night. So I want to wish the Zebras best of luck tomorrow night. We'll be back with them on Thursday at Southwood. I think I'll be there. I'll just be talking to myself. You'll be talking to yourself? You going to wrestling? I'm going to wrestling too. We'll talk I'll wrestling throughout the night. Be a big sectional for Rochester up at Plymouth tomorrow. Yep. How about Lewis Cass? They got McConaughey and Josiah Ball tonight. They got Kokomo and Flory tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yeah, Good that's luck. huge. Welcome to basketball. And the tip is off, and it's being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid American. The Zebras control it to start the first quarter. Here's Pollock with the basketball top of the key. Pollock North, will give it back to Bowers. Northfield and the man fronting the post. Bowers has it top of the key. Bowers dribbles in, kicks it back out to Bogger. Bogger into the paint. Bogger leans in, goes up off the glass, no good. And the rebound comes away to Rogers. Rogers in Northfield, look to push. Kicks it back out, and he'll run through, and now they'll bring it back up to the top, and that's going to be Jaden Bear. Jaden gives it off to Lemming. Lemming back over now to Tyson Bear. Tyson top of the key, gives it off to Lemming. Back up top to Carter Rogers. They swing it near side now to Jaden. Zebra's in a man as well, and that goes to the hole, and that's going to be Carter Rogers. Rogers. Carter Rogers gets the first points of the contest, and it's 2 to nothing Northfield. Zebra's on the other end. Tanner Reinert's three ball on the way off the back of the iron. No good. Rogers with a quick rebound. Rogers looking ahead. The pass is deflected by Carson Pollock, picked up by Tanner Reinert. Reinert ahead to Prater. Stops, pops, no good. Rebound tipped around and going to be last touched. By Northfield, will stay with Rochester. Ooh. No, nope, nope. He's going to say it is yeah, Northfield basketball. That's the right call. It is Northfield ball. Pointed the wrong direction, so they'll get that changed around. Zebras will put full court press on. That was an ill-advised pass by Rogers that last time down. Rogers has it now against Bowers, and Bowers is going to get called for a hand check. It's going to be his first team first of the quarter. But so far, you like what you see from Carter Rogers. He's got he uh, burnt somebody off the dribble yeah. for a bucket. He's got two rebounds, and he's handled uh, the pressure well so far. Lemming has the basketball, loses it, picks it back up. Now they go to the far side over to Jaden Bear. Down low to Lemming. Lemming up off the glass is good. 
tied. Lemming has two, and it's 4 0 now on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Northfield leads with 6.20 to go here in the first. That was some nice action. They set up a screen to get Lemming open, and he got to the spot. Bowers fade away. Jumper's no good. Rogers with a quick rebound. Rogers ahead to Tyson Bear. Bear pull up three, way off the mark, into the hands of Carson Pollock. Here's Bowers with the basketball. Bowers quickly down to Bogger. Up at no good, but a foul coming. And that's going to give Bryce a chance at some free throws. And that foul is going to be called on Tyson Bear, his first. And now, Bacher at the line for two to get the Zebras off the goose egg. Two free throws coming. First one is on the way, and it is good. Four to one. I'm not saying anything more about Bryce Bogger's free throw shooting. No, no. Nothing more needs to be said. <laughs> the rest of the season, the rest of his career. Bryce's second one on the way. It's good again. No sweat. Four to two. And here's press put on by the Zebras. Quickly up the floor. That is Rogers. Rogers has it. Into the paint, into Bowers' hands. Drew's got the basketball. Drew at the other end, up and off the glass. Good. That was a little Euro step. And we're knotted at four. Quickly down the other end. Here is Lemming with a layup. A nice pass from Rogers. Misses the layup. Left hand on, or right hand on the left hand side. Usually miss every time. And now here's Bowers with the rebound and the three on the way. No good. And Rogers with the rebound. Boy, Northfield's not afraid to get up and down the floor. He hasn't played three minutes yet. Rogers has four rebounds. He's got, <laughs> and he's 5 9. Here is Northfield with the basketball. He's wide open in the corner. Pass is deflected. Picked up by Bowers. Ahead to Bryce. Bacher up off the glass is good. Bacher has four. And now it's six to four. Zebras with a two point lead. Coach Malco going to mix up the defense. It looks like they're going to pick up at about half court. Well, that's three turnovers already for Northfield. Quickly in the down is Lemming. Kicks it out to Rogers. Left corner, three on the way. No good. Here is Prater with a rebound. Zebras look to push and a foul coming. That's going to be on Ty Lemming, his first team second. There have been many, many, many Lemmings to come through Northfield. <laughs> I believe... His grandfather is the uh, guy who started the cross-country program at Northfield. Okay. Uh, many, many lemmings, and they've all been very good athletes. Zebras have the ball on the inbounds right in front of us. Now they give it up to Bowers. Over the top to Reinert. Reinert's over the front of the rim. Good. Screen and roll. Eight to four. Zebras now with a four-point lead on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Quickly downs, Rogers with the basketball. Now they swing it to the top side to Bear. Tyson Bear gives it off to Lemming. Lemming at the free throw line. Now kicks it back out. Now they go down into the corner. Bowers with a nice cutoff on the corner. Give it up top to Jaden Bear. And now we're going to have a foul, a hold. And that's going to be on Carson Pollock. It is his first, team second. So it'll be out of bounds to... Uh, Rod, or to Northfield, Coach Malco wants a 30-second timeout. 4.26 to go here in the first quarter of the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. Zebras lead 8-4. to four. Rochester Iron and Metal, a full-service metaling, recycling, and processing center that works hard to make sure that every bit is recycled properly. Perkins and Adley, your law firm built for your current and future legal needs. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Rochester Metal Products, quality of cast iron casting since 1937. And Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change, all proud supporters of Zebra basketball. The 30-second timeout by the Zebras at the 426 mark. Coach Malco uh, talking maybe about the defense. It'll be Northfield basketball. And I think fighting through screens, I think maybe had something to do with that. Uh... Yeah, that could be. So it'll be Northfield to inbound. Northfield looking underneath the basket, trying to get it in. Finally gets it in to Tyson Bear. Bear back up top. They swing it to Rogers. Three on the corner on the wing. Gets it to roll. And Carter Rogers has five. And it's a one point zero lead, eight seven. Prater all the way to the other end, up and good. Now that's not a good sign for Northfield. That's too easy. Here down the other end are the Zebras on defense. Again, in that man against Northfield. Into the corner to Rogers. Rogers gives it up to Jaden Bear. Jaden Bear gets a screen, freshly uh, by Burkett. 
Burkett then rolls to the basket. They can't get it to him. Three ball on the way, top of the key. Misses everything. Does Tyson Lemming, and here comes the Zebras. Reinerts fakes, goes to the hole, has it stripped, picks up his own basket to a wide open Bowers. Bowers has it blocked, picked it up by Prater. His shot is missed, and the rebound comes away to Tyson Bear. Boy, you got to love the way that um, Burkhart competes yeah. on the defensive end. He made about two or three good defensive plays on that same possession. Here comes Northfield, and it's Lemming. Lemming goes down low. Tipped and picked up by Rochester. Here is a pass to Pollock up off the glass is good. Timeout, Northfield. 3.14 to go here in the first. 12-7, Rochester lead on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. And it's just a 30-second timeout. Dylan Hook will check in for the Zebras. And I want to remind you about Mike Anderson, where you always find a familiar face. Steve Moore Agency, small town, big service. Farm Credit Mid-America, securing the future of rural communities in agriculture, and Ivy Tech of Northern Indiana. Sign up for classes today. Here at Rochester High School, Randy and Val, glad you could join us as the Zebras have a 12-7 lead. Any scoring updates? In girls basketball, Lewis Cass leads McConaughey 26-19 at the end of three quarters. If Lewis okay. Cass can hang on to that lead, they'll share the TRC with Whitco. Whitco's already clinched a share. If McConaughey comes back and win that game, uh, Whitco wins it outright. And Cast and Boys lead Pioneer 19 to 4 into the first quarter. Okay. We'll keep you updated with scores throughout the night from around the area. Big weekend for Cast and host Pioneer tonight at Tri County tomorrow night. Here is Lemming with the basketball. He gives it up to Tyson Bear. Tyson has it, and he'll send it over to Jaden Bear. Jaden with the basketball. Three Back two to Tyson. 3 2 zone. Here is Rogers. Goes to the hole. Layup up and good. Well, he just. Rogers. Carter Rogers has seven of the nine. He just blew the doors off Tanner Reinerts. And that was after Tanner had the down low to hook, hook, reverse layup, up and good. 14 to nine. Here's Trap on the midcourt. Now they get it out, Trap it on the sideline. They go to Rogers. Rogers back up top. Here's a 3 4 bear on the way. No good. Locker with a rebound. Prater looks to push. Prater right down the floor, pull up jumper and doesn't get the roll and a rebound for Northfield. Didn't know if he wanted to bank that or shoot it straight and I think got caught in between. Rogers down in the corner. Rogers then shoves off. Yep, he threw that arm out there. And an offensive foul on Carter Rogers. Nice job by Dylan Hook. Rogers picks up his first team at third. Coming in for Rochester will be Jonas Kaiser. And sitting down will be Owen Prater. 2.15 to go here in the first, 14 to nine. Zebra basketball. And they, they have got to keep Rogers out of foul trouble. He's been by yeah. far their best player. He's got seven points and four rebounds. We haven't even played six yeah. minutes. Here is Bowers with the basketball for the Zebras. To Kaiser, now up top to Bacher. Locker has it, now left side to Reinerts, down low to Kaiser, it's tipped out of bounds, it'll stay with Rochester. Last touch by Tyson Bear. Playing that Bear defense. <laughs> Double Bear. Duh Bears. Duh Bears. It'll be inbounded by Bowers in the corner. Bowers gets it in to Reinerts. Reinerts, quick catch, wide open, Dylan Hook up underneath is good. That's four for Hook. And here comes the three-quarter court trap by the Zebras. Break it down quickly. Now here is Lemming with the basketball. Lemming has it. He's going to have to do something with it. Finally kicks it out to uh, Perney. Perney quickly into the ball game. Lemming goes down to the block, and he's going to end up being fouled in what looked like a awkward play. But that foul is going to be whistled against Kaiser. Jonas picks up his first, team third. Yeah, Kaiser bit on the pump fake when he yeah. didn't have to. Lakeland, Lakeland Christian leads Argus 20 to 19 at halftime. Lemming misses the first one. He'll have one more. And that's what Coach Malco kind of yelled into Jonas is uh, stay your ground, keep your feet on the floor. Lemming will have another opportunity. And that one is good. He's got three points. 16 to 10 on the uh, Jennings Insurance scoreboard. 90 seconds remains here in this first quarter. 16 to 10. Bowers with it. Bowers top the key to Reinerts. Reinerts hands it back to Bowers. Pull up jumper at the free throw line. Good for Drew. Drew's got four. And it's 18 to 10. Rogers quickly ahead to Lemming. Lemming 
Down in the corner. Now they kick it back up. Here's a three on the way. On the way, no good for Lemming. Last touch by... Oh, great effort. What a great effort, and they're going to let that one go out of bounds. It's on the floor. It's three uh, Northfield Norris, but a great effort to try to save it. Two great efforts by Tyson Bear and Carter Rogers. Yeah. But trying to save it. Ball. Ends up rolling out of bounds. And coming back in will be Isaac Burkhart. Again. Carter Rogers comes up kind of holding his uh, side. I think he uh, got the wind knocked out of him on that one. Here's the give and go to Bacher. Three on the way. He's good. Pick and pop. Seven for Bacher. 21 to 10. Here's almost a steal by Drew Bowers, and that's going to be his second foul. That's not good for Rochester. For Bowers picking up his second with 49 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Prater was going to come back in, and Drew's going to sit down. Zebra's doing some switching around here on defense now. It's with the well, Owen Prater, you know, Owen Prater's got to take take on that point guard responsibility yeah. now with Bowers on the bench. Here is Bear with the basketball, has it tipped, picked back up, goes to the hole. That is Northfield's miss over the top to Bacher, and it goes out of bounds. Tanner Reiner, it's a little too much under that one. First turnover. Well, 32.4 to go in the first quarter. That was some good defense by Prater to wall up on Lemming and make it a tough shot, yeah. than he, tougher shot than he thought he had. Tyson has it now, gets it up to Jaden. Now over to Carter. Rogers has the basketball. Now they go down low to the big man in Burkhart. She kicks it back out. Stolen by Bacher. Throws it ahead to himself. Now to Dylan Hook. Wide open left. Good. Hook's got six. 23 to 10. Eight seconds remaining. They throw it over here to Rogers. Rogers fakes a three into the paint, throws up a shot at the buzzer, banks it in, and that's going to do it for the quarter. As Carter Rogers puts two more in his scoring column. And at the end of one, Zebras lead 23 to 12 here at Rochester High School. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. On the floor for the Zebras will be Carson Pollock, Tanner Reinerts, Owen Prater, Bryce Bacher, and Dylan Hook. It'll be Northfield basketball. So much of the Val, Jin the Val Jinx is in play here. I said <laughs> Northfield relied on balance scoring. They've only had two guys score all 12 of their points. Yeah. <laughs> in here on the uh, inbound, Bear, Jaden Bear has it off to Carter Rogers. Rogers back to Bear. Bear on the left side, spin move, looking for somebody. It's going to be stolen by Prater. Jump ball. And it's Zebra basketball Position turnover, Zebra. Northfield. Nice job by Owen Prater on the defense. Thought Clear. maybe he was going to yeah. get, get it out of there before the uh, whistle. The Northfield offense just runs a lot more smoothly when Rodgers has the ball in his yeah. hands. I mean, I, I'm almost thinking about playing like a, a almost facing up on him or face guarding him. Here's Reinert with the basketball to Pollock. Now to Hook. Back over to Tanner. Three ball straight away off the back of the iron. No good. Hook's going to get a foul for going over the back, and it's going to be his first team first of the quarter. We yeah, have Rick Padell here again today. Yep, he along is. Along with Kirk Robinson and Ryan Eli. Or Ely. I think it's Ely. Ely, yeah. Veteran crew. They go to I Isaac Burkhart. Burkhart loses it, picks it back up, gets it to Rogers. His floater in the lane's no good. And the rebound comes away to Prater. Prater ahead to Bryce. Bryce has it now to Tanner. Tanner on the near side. Kicks it off to Carson Pollock. Into the paint, throws up a shot, no good. And a foul coming against Northfield. And it's going to be whistled on. Northfield shoots Burkhart, his first, team first to the quarter. Carson Pollock to the line. He's got two free throws coming. He's got two points in the first quarter. Carson's got the bowling semi-state tomorrow in Fort Wayne, yeah. and he's got a boys' basketball game in North White. <laughs> Total <laughs> opposite directions. 24-12. Yeah. <laughs> Zebras have doubled up Northfield here with 6.58 to go in the second quarter, and Pollock's got another one. Carson's second free throw on the way. In and out, no good. Tanner with a rebound, back up and good. Reinhardt has four. 26-12. Here's Rogers. Boy, you got you have to block out Tanner yeah. Reinhardt. I mean, <laughs> how do you miss that? Yeah. 
Here's Rogers with it. Off over to Tyson Bear, his three ball. Good. Bear with his first points of the game. 26-15. Zebras quickly down the floor. Prater with the basketball. Prater around his defender. Kicks it out to Pollock. Pollock into the paint. Now out to Bryce. Bacher puts it on the floor. Spin move. Goes up and travels. Man. I, I like the aggressiveness. He, he kind of leaned in. Got, got into the chest of the defender, but one too many steps. And it's interesting. You're seeing now them game plan for Bryce Bogger. I mean, they really... Lemming hung hard on his right mm -hmm. hand, forced Bryce to go to his left, and he just wasn't comfortable there. Tyson Bear gets it into Rogers. They go across court over to Jaden Bear. Three for him is good. Three points basket. That's Jaden Bear's first points of the night. And again, that's Rogers with the assist. I mean, he 26-18. Bacher, three on the way is good. Three. Bryce says, watch this. I can match you. 29-18. Here comes Northfield. They get it across the timeline. Rogers baseline stolen by uh, Carson Pollock, tipped by Reinerts. Yeah, that was Reinerts who made the play. Here's Prater with the basketball. Prater, spin move, into the paint, kicks it back out to Bryce. Another three for Bryce on the way. No good. And the rebound comes away to Rogers. Good closeout by Perney. Rogers with the basketball. Now kicks it up to Perney. Perney, he'll fire a three off the mark, no good. Carson Pollock with a quick rebound. That's not a good shot. Didn't have any teammates underneath the goal. Pollock at the free throw line, good. Well, I'm not sure that was a great shot. Either. Pollock's got five. That's a no, 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 yeah. Yeah, almost a, <laughs> uh. Rogers swings it over to Bear. Three more on the way for him, no good. Dylan Hook with a quick rebound. Good box out by Hook. Bryce will run the point. Gives it off to Hook. Down low, they go to Prater. Prater turns around, fakes, goes up off the glass, good. Prater's got four. 33-18. Zebras again with that diamond look and the half court. They go to the paint and Prater. Oh, they're gonna call an offensive foul. Oh, he did, threw off the arm. Jaden Bear is gonna be called for his first team second. And now Grant Clark will come in, and Drew Bowers will come back in. Pollock and Hook sit down, and Parker Oswalt will come in for Northfield. 4.43 to go in this first half, 33-18. Here is Bowers with it, goes left side now to Prater. Prater holds against Rogers to Reinerts. Reinerts at the elbow. Looking, looking, surveying, gives it up to Clark. Clark has it on the left wing. Clark has it stripped by Rogers. On the floor is Clark, and it's gonna be a loose ball, tie up, it's gonna go to Northfield. Jump ball, possession. So the alternating possession will give Zebras a turnover. And coming back in, number 15, Ty Lemming, and sitting down will be Tyson Bear. Good defense by Rogers, just playing hard and taking advantage of a sophomore who's not used to yeah. having the ball out on the perimeter. Rodgers has it, now swings it on the far side to Jaden Bear, back up top to Rodgers. Back to the 3-2 Rogers. Rochester. Back to Jaden Bear, Bear has the basketball. Bear into the paint, kicks it out to Rodgers. Rodgers dribbles the baseline, dribbles back out. Now to Jaden Bear, the pass is tipped and stolen by Prater and a jump ball, it goes to the Zebras. Turnover number nine for Northfield, three for Rochester. So the Zebras get it back on the possession arrow. Again, Bowers will get the inbound. I think you want to get a paint touch here. Four minutes to go here in the first half. Or at least let, let Drew Bowers go, go to work yeah. off the dribble. Tanner Reinerts down low, and Prater fires a three in and out, no good. And the rebound comes away to a Tyson or Jaden Bear. Into the paint. Bear gives it up to Rogers. Rogers down low to Burkhardt, up and good. Zebras didn't uh, rotate over, and Burkhardt with a wide open layup, 33-20. Oh, nice pass by Rogers. Reinerts for three on the way, no good. Clark with the rebound, throws up a shot, no good. Prater has the rebound. Prater down low at the block, gives it up to Bogger and uh, travel. A little extra step there. Again, uh, the ball has to go in the paint. Yeah. I mean, uh, however you get it there, whether it's Drew off the dribble or get it to a... Rogers you know. is out for Northfield. Coming back in will be Tyson Bear. 
Well, then it's time to bring the heat defensively. And if Rogers is out, but comes the one, two, two. I, I like to see Owen Prater post up too. I mean, that, that play worked really well. I'd like to see him go back to it. Bear has the basketball. Tyson with it. Tyson over to Lemming. Lemming into the paint. Down low to Oswald. Turn around jumper, no good. Oswald uh, knocks it off of Clark. It'll stay with Northfield underneath their own basket. 3.03 to go here before we're halftime. 33 20. Zebras lead it on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. And Dylan Hook will check back in, and Clark will sit down. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, that's, Rochester hasn't gotten quite the production out of the sophomores that we were hoping. Here's a three on the way for Lemming. It's good. Lemming's first point to the quarter, and it's 33 23. Here's Reiners with the basketball to Bacher. Bryce has it against Oswald. Into the paint. Kicks it back out. Now Tanner with it to Bowers. Bowers, pull up jumper. 15 footer. Good. Bowers. Bowers has six. 35 23. Here's Northfield. Quickly down to Oswald at the, in the paint. Kicks it back out. That's Bear. Tyson Bear is going to be fouled, and I believe that's going to be Dylan Hook second. And it is second of the quarter. Carson Pollock will check back in. Also, Carter Rogers checking back in for Northfield. As Bowers will sit down. 2.29 to go here in the first half. Rogers gets the basketball on the inbound. Again, Coach Malco being judicious in how he uses Drew Bowers with Drew in foul trouble. Burkhart has it. Rogers then travels. Rodgers uh, took one too many steps before he put the ball on the floor. So Zebra basketball, another turnover for Northfield. 2.15 to go. Northfield allows about 50 points a game. They've allowed 35 already. we still got two and a half yeah. minutes to go in the half. Here is Prater. Swings it left side. Now to Bryce. Bryce around the screen. Northfield does a switch, so they give it up. Here's Reinerts into the paint. Reinerts up and good off the glass. Reinerts has six. 37-23. Rogers ahead to Lemming. Lemming then is going to be fouled. We'll wait and see who it is. And that's Tanner's first. Number 11, Reinerts, his first. Zebra's third. Jack Reffitt will check in, and Tanner will sit down. Jack Reffitt. Been at 49 before halftime. 37-23, Rochester leads. Northfield looking to get it in, and they get it over to the top to Tyson Bear. Bear swings it over to Lemming. Rochester in a man this time down. Lemming has it. Lemming comes to the near side to Rogers. Rogers back to Lemming. Three on the way for him. No good. Ref it with a rebound. Ref it up to Prater, to Bacher. Bacher. We'll pull it back out. He'll go to Reffitt. Top of the key. Now down low to Dylan Hook. Hook, turn around off the glass. Good. Hook with eight off the bench for Rochester. They lead 39-23. Nice pass by Jack Reffitt. Down low. It goes Northfield. And the foul and the bucket for Tyson Bear. And a foul is coming on uh, Hook. Dylan's third, team fourth, so I'm going to guess Hook will be coming out. Bear comes back in and sitting down with Lemming. Tyson Bear with a free throw to try to complete the three-point play. He's got five points so far all in this quarter. Yeah, I mean, he's, again, they've incorporated more scores in the second quarter. Yeah. Misses the free throw. Prayer with a quick rebound ahead to Clark, or excuse me, ref it. Ref it over to Pollock and a foul on a Carter Rogers for Northfield. It's going to be his second, team third. Reinerts will check back second. in. Sitting down will be Hook with three fouls. Yeah, after Coach Reimer, I think you got to lead Rogers out there. Yeah, I don't think he's, I don't think you can take him out. Pollock to inbound gets it into Prater. Prater, been moving in the paint and it's good. Oh, and Prater goes around Oswald for two more. 41-25. Owen's done that about, what, two or three times yeah. this year? Good move down there. That, he is that dangerous baseline. on the baseline, yeah. Here is Northfield with a basketball. It's Tyson Bear, gives it up to Oswald. Oswald at the elbow, kicks it back to Bear. 
Tyson with the basketball. Now to the near side to Rogers. Rogers back to Oswald, top of the key. Down on the right side, they give it back to Burkhart at the elbow. Burkhart kicks it back up top to Jane Bear. Swings it to the near side. That's Tyson Bear with the basketball. Stolen by Reinerts. He's going to the hole. Reinerts up and good. You could tell by the look on Reinerts' face, he was taking that thing to the hole, and he scores. Too big, too strong, too fast. Yeah. 43-25 with 18 seconds to go. Burkhart with the basketball. They swing it left side. That is Tyson Bear. Now to Rogers. Far side. Jaden Bear three on the way. Tanner with a quick rebound in five seconds. Ahead to Pollock. Pollock pulls the trigger for a three. No good. And that's going to do it for the first half at the end at halftime. 43-25. Zebras lead it on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. When we come back, it's the halftime. Brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metal. Here on Giant FM and RTC TV 4. That's going to do it for the halftime show. Brian. Brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metals. We start the third quarter. Brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America. It'll be Northfield basketball as they trail 43-25 to your Zebras. Starting the basketball with Jaden Bear. He gives it off to Carter Rogers. Rogers now around the left side. Zebras in a man to start the third quarter. They give it up to uh, Jaden Bear. Jaden Bear on the near on the far side. Jaden Bear now to Tyson Lemming. The pass is going to be deflected and out of bounds by Owen Prater, but uh, Tyson Bear almost had it picked. Please come back. There's yeah. a basketball game going yeah. on. Yeah, it's it's a little roomier now. <laughs> Here is uh, Jaden Bear with the basketball to Rogers. They go around the left side again, cut it back door, and it's out of bounds. Can't handle the pass, and that was Tyson Bear that let it slip through his hands. Well, I think it was Owen Prater who knocked it off, got a fingertip on it, knocked it off Tyson Bear. Here is Bowers. Bowers off to Prater. Prater fakes, or uh, excuse me, Reiner fakes around, but unfortunately there was uh, Ty Lemming waiting on Tanner Reinerts. And Reinerts gets an offensive foul, his second team first. Kind of a high ball screen play, maybe yeah. kind of a weave play. To Original five for Rochester, Bowers, Reinerts, Prater, Bacher, and Pollock. Here is Rogers with it, gets it down low to Tyson Bear. Tyson Bear back up top, now to Lemming. Lemming has it. Lemming around the left side. Gives it back up to Rogers. Free throw jumper on the way off the mark. No good. Ball's loose still on the ground. And it'll be picked up by Northfield. And the coach gets a timeout. It's a 30 second timeout. His second 30 second timeout of the game. And with 6.55 to go here in this third quarter, still 43 25. I want to tell you about First Federal Savings Bank. They don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Fulton County Best One Tire, the most important person to them is you. RTC Communications, phone, cable, and internet. Shepard Chevy, GMC of Rochester, where they always treat you like family. And by Fulton County, REMC, making it better tomorrow since 1936. End of three quarters, cast and boys lead Pioneer 37-33. Okay. So it was 16-0 to zero at one point. Wow. Pioneer is... Made a bit of a comeback. In fact, they got it down to one. So the timeout saves the basketball from going out of bounds. And now Northfield will have it here on the near side. Looking to get it in and again deflected by Bowers. And it'll stay with Northfield in front of the uh, Zebra student section. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here this evening. 6.54 to go. And we'll look to get it in. Lemming will do so. Lemming throws it in the backcourt and it's picked up by Jaden Bear. Bear against Bacher. Bear brings it off to Tyson Bear. Now they go in, tipped Bowers. by Bowers. Picked up by Prater. Prater with the basketball on the near side. Prater back up top to Bowers. Bowers head fakes. Now gives it off to Pollock. Free throw line jumper for Pollock off the mark. No good. And the rebound comes away to Rogers. Rogers will push it on the far sideline. Gives it up to Tyson Bear. Now to Lemming. Lemming holds. Lemming down is double teamed. He dribble out of it. Goes into the paint. Goes down low to Tyson Bear. Bear picks it up. Goes back off the glass way short. And the rebound to Pollock. Good job by Wall of just walling up by Pollock. Bowers with it. Swings it in their side. Now to Bacher. Down low it goes to Prater. And Prater's going to get shoved in the back by Tyson Bear. Going to be his second. 
first of the quarter. Owen Prater just kind of put on the brakes and Tyson Bear <laughs> kind of ran yeah, him over. I like Owen Prater in the post and the problem uh, with... Uh, they get it into Reinerts. Reinerts, 15 foot jumper, good. Reinerts now with 10. It is up to 20 for the first time. 45-25, Tanner with a steal. Reinerts on the other end. Reinerts off, off the glass, misses it. Prater picks it up and good. Owen Prater has eight. And now here's pressure again by the Zebras at the three-quarter court. They give it up to Rogers. Finally gets it across the timeline to Northfield. Double team. Now to Rogers. Down the middle. Rogers goes to the hole. Finger roll up and good in a foul. And that's going to be good for Rogers. Gives him in double digits to 11. And I believe Carson Pollock is going to pick up the foul. He does. His second team's second of the quarter. Rogers looking for the old-fashioned three-point play. Free throw is missed. And Bacher with a rebound. Gives it ahead to Bowers. Bowers brings it across the timeline. Bowers goes down low. Bowers to Prater, up and good. That's where it's at. And you know, the, the Zebras have had some issues this year, like first four minutes of the third quarter in a lot of games yeah. where they just fall in love yeah. with a three. They can jam it down low against these guys. They, can, they cannot guard in the post. Prater now with just 10. Much, much bigger and stronger. Here's a fadeaway by Rogers off the back of the backboard. No good. Rebound comes away to Lemmy. Kicks it back out to Rogers. Three on the way. Good this time. Rogers has five just in this quarter. And Carson Pollock, Pollock at the other end. Good shot by Pollock. Pollock now with seven. 51 30. Down lows Rogers. Just throws up a shot as he stumbles. Ahead to Bacher. Bacher is called for a charge. Bryce Bacher will pick up his first. Team third of the quarter. And now coming back in for Northfield, number 10, Jake Perney. Sitting down will be Lemming. Yeah, I, I see what Bryce was thinking there, but yeah. I think a pass might have been the better decision. Into the middle to Perney. Now they get it up. Dying to go down low, and it's kicked by Reinerts. And Northfield will get it back in, uh, on the far side with four and a half to go. I actually think that's a pretty good break. I think that was a layup if the yeah. pass gets there. 51-30. Zebras lead over the top. It goes to Perney. Perney on the near side. Now it swings it to the other side. And it's knocked out of bounds by Owen Prater. And <laughs> catches the referee off guard. Yeah, that's. <laughs> so the ref will take a uh, quick breather here. And catch his breath with 429 to go here in the third quarter. Maybe that cheerleading routine, maybe do that over again. <laughs> yeah. He might need a minute. 51 30. As oh boy. Wrong place, wrong time is what that was. Right, and I imagine Rick Pedell and Kirk Robinson are the other officials, yeah. and they're like, yeah, I know. I know yeah. I've had that happen to me before. Yeah. Coach Malco uh, tells him something that makes him smile. Here's Northfield back with the basketball. Double team. Now they get, get it off. Ball's tipped in the air. Picked up by Rogers. Rogers back over to Bear. Three ball on the way by Tyson Bear. No good. Rebound by Rogers. Rogers has the basketball. Goes to the hole. Up. No good. Foul's going to be on the floor. It'll be out of bounds to Northfield, and the foul's going to be whistled against Pollock, his third, team fourth. And now Northfield will have it out of bounds. I'm just very impressed by Carter Rogers. He's, he's going to be deserving of some all-conference, all maybe uh, at least consideration at the end of the year. There is Their offense Bernie. just runs much yeah. more smoothly when he has got the ball in his hands. Tyson so Bear back up top now. Northfield will hold. Under four to go in the third. Kind of a 1-4 low set by Northfield. They go to Rogers, now to Burkhart. Burkhart has it up top. Burkhart looks to go, but it's stripped. Here's Prater. Prater, two on two. That gives it to Pollock. Goes up off the glass. No good, but a foul coming. And Carson Pollock will go to the line to shoot two. If that's on Rogers. That's three. And it's going to be whistled on number two, Jaden Bear. Bear. His second. second, team second Carson of the quarter. Carson Pollock now with seven points, looking for two more here at the charity stripe. Yeah, when Burkhardt puts it on the deck, he's got to be really careful with it. Free throw is good by Pollock. 52-30. 
And Burkhardt will come out and Oswald will come in. And Jonas Kaiser comes in. And Dylan Hook will get ready to come in if Pollock makes this. Sitting down was Bacher. Hook will come in again if uh, Pollock can sink this, and he does. So nine points now for Pollock, and uh, Dylan Hook will come in. Uh, he'll come off the bench in the uh, first half, had eight points, so a good first half for Dylan. A couple of steals as well. Here comes the Zebras in that three-quarter court. Trying to force them to the left side. Now More they like bring token it back. pressure there. Bring it to the near side. Here's Perny with it. Up to Bear. Bear's three on the way. No good. Rebound to Owen Prater. Prater gets it across the timeline and slows things down. He'll run the offense. And now we're going to have an offensive foul, an illegal screen against Jonas Kaiser. So that's his second. An offensive second. foul to be out of bounds. And the thing is, I don't think Owen needed a high ball screen. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. I think he left a little, little too soon. Yeah, that, that was definitely, I mean, you can't do that. It was right in front of the yeah. official, too. Perney has it, gives it up to Bear. Now over to Rogers. Rogers dribbles into the paint, kicks it out to Jaden Bear. Three for him, good. Jaden Bear has six now. Nice screen by Perney to get him open. Reinerts at the other end. Knocks down a 15-footer. And Tanner Reinerts now with 12. 55-33. Here comes Northfield. Northfield on the far side. Gets it off to Baird. Tyson Baird. Shot no good. Reinhardt's a quick rebound. Tries to throw it deep. And Dylan Hook got uh, picked off by Tyson Baird. Bear comes to the near side. Now to Rogers. Now to Perney. Perney dribbles down low. Has it knocked loose, but it uh, is going to go out of bounds. It'll stay with Northfield. Owen Prater doing a great job tonight on the floor, diving for loose balls and causing havoc on you the say, defensive end. You won't need the custodians at the end of the game. He'll have mopped up the floor by himself. <laughs> Here comes the inbounds now to Northfield. Northfield drives the baseline. That's Rogers up and good. Carter Rogers has two more. Nice 55, move by Rogers, 35. but again, the help, help side was late. That's not good enough. Hook with it, now to Prater. Prater tries to kick it back out and Tanner Reinerts will chase it down. Tanner will have it top of the key. Tanner against Oswald, now it gives it over to Hook. Now in the corner to Bowers. Bowers to Kaiser, back up top to Tanner. Three on the way, good. Reinerts, his first three of the evening. 58-35 with a minute 50 to go. Again, I. I imagine Tanner Reinders is on their scouting report. I don't know how you, you miss him and give him a, that open a look. Pass down low goes out of bounds. And Luke Malko will come in for the first time tonight. Jack Ruffitz is back in. Tanner sits down and Drew Bauer sits down. Scoring update, 46-38. Uh, Whitco up with 3.30 left in the third. So here's Bowers with the basketball. Now to Kaiser. Whitco with two conference losses. They, they're hanging by a thread in the conference race. They're going to have to run the table. Ruffitt has it. Now off to Kaiser. Trying to go down low to Malco. Pass is uh, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Zebras. Turnover Rochester. Yeah, Jonas just telegraphed that pass. Yeah. And then uh, I'd almost like to see Jonas try and do something off the dribble. Mm -hmm. I, I think he's big enough and strong enough and good enough with the ball that I think he can do something and create that way. 50. And I mean, it sounds like Luke Malko is known for his post-up ability anyway. 58-35. Here's a steal by Bowers. Bowers ahead to Malko. Malko, right hand layup, up and good. Malko with his first points. 60-35. Here is uh, uh, Bear at the other end, down low to Lemming. Lemming up off the glass is good. Lemming with eight. 60-37. Hook with it. Hook has it stripped, picked up by Northfield, but Dillon gets it back somehow, throws up a shot as he falls down, and a foul coming on Northfield, and Dylan Hook will shoot two. Hopefully, Lemming picks up his second foul. Hopefully, Jaden Bear is okay. He was roadkill on that play. He was lying on the ground as Dylan Hook tried to go up with it. <laughs> 49 seconds. Hook with the first free throw missed. He left some bear tracks. 
Dylan went bear hunting. <laughs> 60-37, second one, hard off the back of the iron, tipped around. Malco comes away with it. Ref it, three, right wing, good. Ref it with three, makes it 63-37. Ref it knew that was good the moment it left his hands. 30 seconds to go. Again, this is a Northfield team that allows 50 points a game. They've allowed yeah. 63, and we're still in the third quarter. Here's Northfield with the basketball now with 25 seconds to go. Lemming has it on the far side. Lemming, one dribble into the paint, goes up against Kaiser, throws it too hard off the back of the iron, no good. Rebounds tipped around and picked up by Northfield. That's Jaden Bear. Bear then is passed to Rogers. Is going to be fouled, and that'll be free throws as Malco picks up his first. Team is in the the bonus, so Northfield's Carter, Carter Rogers. Rogers. He shot one earlier and missed it. He'll have two more opportunities here. First one's good this time. 63-38. 11.1 seconds remaining here in this third quarter. Free throw is good again for Rogers. 39 for Northfield, 63 for Rochester, five seconds. The give and go to the hook, hook goes up and can't get it to fall, but he'll go back to the free throw line for two as that foul is going to be whistled against Jaden Bear. Bear Team's fourth. Bear picks up his third. Now Hook, who missed both of them last time, a little pick and two more. little pick and roll there. Yeah. And kind of a... a Kind of like a pick and roll from like the, the foul line. Misses that one. He looks over at Coach Malco, and Coach Malco uh, gives him some a little advice. We'll see if it works here on the second one. 0 for 3 so far for Hook, and that one's good. 64-39. Three seconds to go in the third. Here's Rogers going coast to coast. Kicks it out, does not get it off. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. At the end of three, Zebras lead it 64-39 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Fourth and final quarter on the way after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. First to Prater. Prater cross court pass to Pollock. Now to Bacher. To Tanner. Reiners to Pollock in the corner, and that one's going to be tipped out of bounds by Lemming. It'll stay with Rochester. Coach Malco saying, yeah. hey, I want some better passes than that. Yeah, I mean, clearly they're they're trying something. Yeah. Into the paint goes Bowers, kicks it back out to Bacher. Now over to Pollock, to Reinhardt's left side. Bacher, three on the way from the corner, way off the mark. Ball hits the foot and picked up by Jaden Bear. Quickly ahead. They try to go to Tyson, and it's going to be last touch by Reinhardt's. It'll be out of bounds to Northfield. I'm not sure what the Zebras have are trying to do here. I mean... 
again, it's one thing if you want to take some time off the clock, but then end the possession with kind of out of rhythm threes. 64-42. Northfield to inbound. They get it into the top, off to uh, Jaden Bear, into the paint, going back door. They can't get it, off to Schramm. Now they bring it back up top. Here, Jaden Bear into the paint, kicks it out to Lemming. Three on the way, no good. And Prater with a rebound, he'll slow it down. And the Zebras will run their offense. Prater has it, now to Bowers. Bowers back to Prater. Prater into the paint, and a blocking foul gonna be called against Northfield. And that's going to be on Jaden Bear, his fourth team first of the quarter. And so now it'll be timeout. Zebra's 30-second timeout with 5.30 to go here in the fourth. 64-42. Zebra's lead it on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Fulton County REMC making a better tomorrow since 1936. Smith Farm Store serving farm and home since 1971. Smith Sawyer Smith Insurance. Insurance bonds and wealth management. Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester going beyond the expected for you. Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future, please recycle. And by Pulaski Memorial Hospital, connecting you with excellent health care providers. It'll be Zebra basketball underneath their own basket with five and a half remaining. Here in the fourth as they lead 64-42, Randy and Val. Thanks for joining us. Rogers returns to the Northfield lane. Mr. Johnson, Ms. Mr. Wilson uh, for RTC, give them a shout out tonight. Doing a great job as always. My office mates. Your office mates. I share an office with them. Oh. Are you are they teaching you lots of things? Yes. <laughs> Zebras have the basketball stripped. And Oswalt picks it up. Now he'll give it off to Rogers. Turnover to Rochester. Here is Schramm. Top of the key. Schramm has it now to Rogers. Rogers, right side. Back up top to Bear. Tyson Bear to Schramm. Schramm guarded by Pollock. Now gives it up to Rogers. Rogers goes down low to Oswalt. Working Tanner Reinerts. Goes up and good. Nice move, nice footwork by Oswald. Parker Oswald, Oswald with two, his first of the night, 64-44, back to a, just a 20-point lead. Pollock into the paint, up and good. Carson Pollock now into double digits with 11. And again, I think, again, for Coach Malco, it's never been about piling up the points. No. I, I've seen him, his teams for a long time, but. Steal by Reinerts. Reinerts spin moves, loses it. Picked up by Rogers. Rogers has it, and we have an injury and down at the other end for Northfield. Lemming comes up limping. He's kind of holding that ankle, but he's going to play through it until the next whistle, at least. It was a limping Lemming. Here is Rogers with the basketball. Now into the paint to Schramm. Schramm will fire a three good. Three point basket, Raider Schramm. 66-47. Reinerts with it, now to Bacher. Bacher back over to Bowers. Bowers dribbles into the paint, kicks it off to Bryce. Right side now to Tanner. Top the key to Pollock, into the paint, down low to Prater, head fake, back up off the glass, misses. P Bryce cleans it up, and he's going to be fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. And Rogers got him. And that foul Your is foul. coming on Rogers, his third, team Bryce second. Looks like Schramm came up lame. I... So the free throw is on the way for Bryce. 10 points in the game so far for Bryce. And he has 11 with the free throw. Coming in for Northfield is Jaden Bear and Burkhart. What, what I was trying to say earlier is Rob Malk has never been about piling up the points. No. If they need to work on something like pulling the ball out. But they just didn't look very comfortable doing that. And the shots that they were... Again, if you hold onto the ball for like a minute or so and then get a layup out of it, well, then it's worthwhile. But they weren't doing that. Right. Bacher makes the second free throw. He'll come out and hook back in for Rochester. They just didn't look comfortable in what Coach Malco was asking them to do. Here is Bear with it. Jaden Bear into the paint. Tries to go down low. Tanner's going to get a foul for a reach around. It's going to be his third, team first. Be out of bounds down low underneath the basket for Northfield. 
Now, Luke Mount go back in for Carson Pollock. And we always go back to the 2009 team when they lost here to Peru. And then after that, when they blew an, like an 11 point lead in the fourth quarter and lost here to Peru, and then they basically learned to, to they, they worked on that delay game after that. Perning but, into the contest for Northfield. But that was, that was the middle of February. The, this team's got a ways to go. Here's Rogers for three off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for, and it's saved and picked up by Bear. Jaden Bear off to Perney, back to Jaden Bear. Bear, 10 footer off the mark, no good. Rebound, Malco. Gives it up to Bowers, three minutes to go here in the contest. Drew Bowers pull up the free throw line, no good. Prater chases it down, gets it, gives it off to Bowers. Bowers into the paint, spin move, good and a foul. And that foul is going to be whistled against Jaden Bear, his fifth, team third. And Jaden Bear will complete his night. And coming in for Rochester, Reffitt and Kaiser, Prater and, and uh, Tanner sit down. Drew Bowers at the line to shoot the free throw. Owen Brader getting congratulated by his teammates, and that was just a great hustle play by Owen to get an offensive rebound. Free throws missed by Bowers. Bear sits down with six points on the night for Northfield. Here's a three on the other end by Tyson Bear. Bear with all points in this quarter now, 70 to 50. Bears got back-to-back -back threes. Bowers with the basketball, now to Hook. Hook to Reffitt. Reffitt top of the key, now to Bowers. He'll fire a three, good for Drew. And 73-50, and Coach Malko gonna go to the bench, and Davis Reney will check in next opportunity. Here's a three on the way for Northfield, no good, but Northfield, Rogers with the rebound. I have Rogers with eight boards in this game. Yeah, He's done a nice job. Perny uh, with the basketball. In, in all facets of the game. He just gives him a lot of energy. Good ball handler. Off to Tyson Bear. Tyson will bring it back to the top of the key. Tyson over to Perny. Three on the way for him. No good. Oswalt saves it, but unfortunately right into the hands of Drew Bowers. Bowers over to Reffitt. Reffitt for three off the mark. No good. Dylan Hook battles with Rodgers for the rebound, and Rodgers will come away with it. Good close up by Perny. Rodgers to the hole. Finger roll. Too hard. And Bowers comes away with the rebound. Bowers out to Luke Malco. Malco picks up the dribble. Now gets to Reffitt. Three for Jack. Good again. Coach Malco wants a time out, and I'm sure it's just to get some subs in as Hunter Honkamp will come in. Davis Reney will come in. Yeah, Coach Malco just calling a timeout for subs. Four substitutions. 76-50, minute 19 to go. So on the floor is Ruffett, Malco, Honkamp, Kaiser, and Rini for the Zebras. Here comes Jack Rodgers, excuse me, Carter Rogers. Jack Rogers is a culver. Argus has defeated <laughs> Lakeland Christian 62-50. to They go down to Burkhardt. He kicks it back out. Here's three for Perney on the way. In and out, no good. Ruffett with a rebound, gives it to Rini. Rainey will have a ball tip from behind, but he's going to be fouled. North foul, number 10. And Perny. that's going to be fouled on number 10, Perney. His first, team number four, so Zebras will have it on the far sideline. I said to Perney for your thoughts during football season, so we're not going to do that again. <laughs> okay, we won't do that. <laughs> Here's Ruffin with the basketball. Under a minute to go. Malco, turnaround jumper too hard. Rogers with another rebound. Rogers on the way. Rogers kicks it back out. Bear fakes the three, goes up, no good. And the rebound's going to come away to Oswald, who goes back up and good. Oswald's got two more. 51 50, Whitco with four minutes left. Peru's on a 13 4 run in the fourth quarter. Here's Rochester with the basketball, 25 seconds to go. Rini has it on the far side. He'll bring it back up to Honkam. Zebras are going to improve to six and six. Northfield will fall to four and 12. Here's Rogers with the basketball. And nobody played too many minutes tonight. They should be 
And they give it to Burkhart. Layup up is good for Burkhart. And the final, 76-54. The Zebras defeat Northfield here at home for another TRC win for the Rochester Zebras. When we come back in the post game, brought to you by Perkins and Adley, we'll have In Your Tardware player of the game and all stats coming up here in just a little bit. The final from Rochester High School, the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. Zebra 76, Northfield 54. Back with more after this, Giant FM and RTC TV 4. 